last time on Herb Vendor. So there I was, wandering around Stormwind aimlessly. This might seem boring, but I had been so busy dealing with guild drama lately that I hadn't had time to do, like, anything. Thankfully, that drama was over, and a sense of normalcy had once again started to take a hold of things. The one thing I was missing, though, was guild members. Sure, the OG members were still around occasionally, but for the most part, we were dealing with a mass exodus. In the past, my method of meeting new members was more or less just walking around the city and inviting whoever I talked to that seemed chill. This had netted us a shitload of people. At the same time, however, casting such a wide net was yielding some weird fish, specifically catfish. There had to be some other way of finding cool people down to join Herbs of Anarchy. We'd just have to have some sort of screening process in place to ensure that each new member is an outstanding citizen. I didn't know how to do that, so I decided I would brainstorm while feeding my in-game addiction. Mounts. To be honest, I don't have any rare ones, or really that many at all, but I do unironically enjoy any excuse to run older content. Which brings us to Zolgarub, an old raid located within the dangerous jungles of Stranglethorn Vale, one of the zones that I'm really sad about them changing. And I don't know why it's split down the middle with the whole north-south thing. Maybe it's like a socio-economic divide between the aristocratic humans and the, uh, goblins. Within the walls of Zolgarub are two mounts that have eluded me for years now. Sharing equal levels of badass, the cat and the dinosaur have been on my want list for quite a while now. I'd have to slay two evil foes in order to obtain these mounts. The first dwells within an ancient temple, guarded by the mask from those Crash Bandicoot games. Once inside, you fight through a couple of packs of mobs before getting to High Priestess Kill Nara here. She is the keeper of one of the sacred mounts. The Swift Zulian Panther. Not the coolest, but I want it. Bad. And this night felt different. This was the first time I had killed the Crash Bandicoot mask thing. Normally while farming the mount, he is spared. I don't know why. Maybe I have this unrealistic fear that upon killing him I'll displease the global bandicoot population. It didn't matter. This time he was dead. And that mount was mine. Like always, I chose Moonfire to be my one-shot skill of choice. No mount. This was a failure I was used to, but there was still one other mount left to attempt in the raid. The armored Rizashi Raptor. This thing's fucking cool. Look. It's... it's red. Located on the other side of the raid completely, this raptor is held by an equally evil bad guy. Bloodlord Mandakir. The lore for this guy goes crazy. Mandakir here was killed, and then his body was desecrated by blood scalp trolls. I don't know exactly what they did to him, but they probably threw rocks at him and stole his Jordans. Both the events of his death and the dejordaning led his spirit into a rage. And he now walks the jungles of Stranglethorn within the corpse of the blood scalp chieftain Gonzula. Blood scalp tribe members around the jungle really don't even notice, giving the raid a real weekend at Bernie's vibe. As I stood there, before the Bloodlord, I wondered what I could do to increase my chances of him dropping them out for me. Perhaps if I displayed for him my own raptor before combat. I don't have one, so I punched his ass out. No mount. I decided to return to Stormwind and call it a night. Problem was, this became the only thing I was doing, like, every night. The lack of friends slash guildmates made for some pretty uninteresting evenings. Sure, I could have walked up and talked to random people, but a majority of the time that only led to like two minute conversations, not cool adventures and fun bad boy shit. That's right, I was missing silly casual RP. Very serious intensive roleplay was easy to find, like anywhere, but silly fun stuff was not. My options seemed pretty limited, but I had remembered hearing a while back that people would occasionally use the group finder thing to set up roleplay sessions. Whether those were more catered to serious roleplayers or not, I had no idea, but I figured it was worth a try. Much to my surprise, there was a group listing for a walk through Westfall. I didn't know what this meant. Was it a guided tour, and were we just strolling the country roads? It didn't matter. I wanted to go. I applied for the group and instantly got accepted. It was time to head to Westfall. When I landed, I was happy to see the size of the group was pretty big. A few of my friends were even there. And equally nervous to see a hostile member of the opposing faction chilling. On meeting, they immediately expressed to me that they had no drugs or time, and that they were sad. I could tell that they had too much of their own shit going on to be a real threat. And then, just like a miracle, that horde person suddenly became non-hostile to me. Their life had been spared. Congratulations, Bunga. As we made our way across the bridge connecting Elwyn to Westfall, I realized what a lengthy affair I had signed up for by joining this group. I had never tagged along on an RP walk like this before, 
but it had already taken us like 30 fucking minutes to get from Westfall to Stormwind. The more I thought about it, the more I realized that this was the point. We were moving at such a slow pace that we were able to take in all the scenery and views. Check it out. Homeless people. We made our way past the homeless encampment and eventually started getting closer to Sentinel Hill. I'd never really seen it before on retail, but it looked a lot different than it used to. They'd really upped the security of the place, which didn't really make a lot of sense because all the shit inside was on fire. Apparently, there's a quest line within the zone that you can do that restores order to the town, consequently dousing the flames. My friends had already done those quests. I had not. While they were strolling through what I can only imagine looks like this, I was trudging through homeless doo-doo fire town. It didn't seem realistic for me to finish whatever quest had to be done in only a few minutes, so I just waited on the other side for the group. I figured since I had to fly my bird body through flames to get here, I would set up a bit of a challenge for them as well once they got to the end. I give you the fog gate. No, it doesn't do anything, but it's kind of ominous and it looks badass. All members of the group passed through with no notion of fear or hesitation. All besides Bunga. I have asthma. I am weird. I got this. Brave as fuck. Holy shit. Are you okay? I am El Kachup. Bunga had become weakened by the thick ass weed smoke. So I healed myself in front of them. You're welcome, Bunga. During my time with Bunga, I didn't realize the group was now fighting a guardian druid. I flew over to see what was going on, and it was my friend Brandon. Brandon is one of three friends of mine who actually plays the game and plays it well. He was geared. But after a grueling slog in arenas, so was I. It was time to do this. No, come back here. <laughs> come back here. <laughs> After what felt like 30 minutes and 300 missed cat form heal procs, I finally ran away. I hadn't realized engaging in such violent activities would keep me flagged for PvP for like 5 minutes. So I just chilled out and sat back in stealth as Brandon shat on everyone for a few more minutes until he logged out for the night. Alright, that's enough for me. I'm gonna go to bed, guys. Although he was gone, his presence still lingered in Bunga's mind. They were too scared to AFK to go poop. I, however, was excited because we were approaching Stranglethorn Vale. This is what I hoped would be the end of our journey. It had been like three and a half hours now, and I really wanted to eat from a party-sized bag of chips and watch Dog the Bounty Hunter on my couch. After a whopping four whole hours, we made it to Booty Bay. We had a little party in the bar, and it was really cool. Getting to hang out with some old friends again made it all worth it. It had also inspired me. It was time to start growing the guild again. Next time on Herb Vendor. <laughs>